I'm here with Dr. Brian Allen, a disease ecologist here at University of Illinois. Can you tell us what you do as a disease ecologist? That's actually a question I get asked a lot because I think uh, to some degree people don't understand what goes into at least the field biology side of doing disease ecology research. Uh, so I do a combination of both field and laboratory work as a disease ecologist. And my field work generally revolves around trying to answer the question of how does human change to the environment, ways that people develop landscapes, modify landscapes, influence their risk of exposure to infectious agents transmitted by arthropods. These are uh, organisms like ticks and mosquitoes, which have historically and continue to be really important vectors of infectious diseases, particularly from wildlife to humans. And so one of the main questions I'm interested in then is how do people change their environment and affect their risk of exposure to infectious diseases. So from the field side, what I do is I identify some gradient in human land use. This can be things like deforestation, habitat fragmentation, urbanization. And I go out and I collect vectors, things like ticks and mosquitoes, across these gradients in human landscape change. That's really most of what I do in the field. And so many days are spent catching ticks or catching mosquitoes. I then bring these organisms back to my laboratory, and many of the questions are then uh, finally answered using molecular tools. And so the molecular work revolves around trying to find these infectious agents in ticks and mosquitoes, so actually grinding these critters up and looking for these infectious agents using various laboratory techniques, and various other tools as well, including one where we can identify host DNA, the actual genetic information that allows us to determine what species these organisms fed on last. And that's really helpful too, because then we can answer questions like, which are the wildlife hosts that are the ones carrying these infectious diseases that humans can become exposed to. And so through this combination of field work and laboratory work, I'm able to get back to this overarching question of how human modification of the environment affects human risk of exposure to infectious agents. Thank you very much. Essentially, from when I was a child, knew that that was going to be my career path. And most of the uh, research I did in ecology as an undergraduate um, was very interesting to me, but not anything that I really saw myself doing for the remainder of my career. And then I, I got really fortunate and had just one good experience that put me on this career path. So I applied for and was admitted to a program called Research Experiences for Undergraduates, which is funded by the National Science Foundation. And this REU was at an institute in upstate New York where there are a number of scientists working on the ecology of Lyme disease. And of course, Lyme disease is a very well-known vector-borne disease. It's the most prevalent tick-borne disease in the United States, caused a very large number of human cases, and it remains a very big health problem. And so uh, this was my first experience in what you could call disease ecology. I was uh, working with a group that was studying the consequences of forest fragmentation for human risk of exposure to Lyme disease. And I really enjoyed every aspect of that research. I got to travel all around uh, this area in upstate New York, which was a very beautiful area, visiting different sites where I was collecting ticks. I got to interact a lot with the landowners and other people living in these areas, and they were all very concerned about Lyme disease. Most people had been exposed to it at some point in their lives because this is an area with very high incidence of Lyme, and so it was a, a really big health problem there. And it was the first time I really felt like the research I was doing was connecting to people who weren't other ecologists and who really recognized the importance of that research. And that, in turn, got me excited um, about doing that work. And so um, that one experience really put me on the trajectory that I've been on uh, with the remainder of my career, where I've continued to look at what are the consequences of how people change their environment for uh, their health. And in fact, I've really uh, stuck with tick-borne diseases and Lyme disease as some of my main, main research questions. Thank you.